Hey everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant, and in this lead generation guide, you're going to learn the two different types of lead generation techniques you should be using to grow your business, four actionable strategies, and when you stick around to the end, I'll be sharing with you the best type of lead magnet with all of these strategies. So timestamp table of contents in the description, along with some other helpful deep dive videos from this and other channels to help you apply one of these lead generation strategies. Because as we go through the two techniques and the four strategies, you're going to want to choose a combination of one to really focus on and become an expert with because of a jack of all trades is really not a good recipe for marketing success. So before we dive into the two techniques and the two different strategies we have for each one of them, let's go ahead and talk about where this applies in our customer journey. So we have prospects and audience members at the top, and these are simply people who we don't have their contact information from yet, or they haven't raised their hand and said, yes, I'm really interested in your product or service. And so all we're trying to do here is take someone who doesn't know who you are or has some level of awareness and collect their contact information and get them to raise their hand saying, yes, I'm interested in your product or service. And that's all the lead generation process is designed to do. It doesn't need to be more complicated than that. So there are two different types of techniques you can follow. You can have the active or seeking, or you could have the passive or magnet. With the active, what you're doing is you're actively meeting your ideal customer where they are, and then you're bringing them into the sales conversation. Whereas the passive attract or creating a magnet of some kind, you are trying to attract your ideal customer to you. So you're creating something and then you're kind of sitting back and you're just waiting for people to come to you. Where over here, you're being proactive and you're lo actively looking and starting those conversations. Now, it's important to note that neither of these is inferior to the other, <laughs> despite what you may have seen or read, they both work. What's most important is you choose one type and one specific strategy for that technique and focus in on becoming the best you can at that one because you don't wanna spread yourself too thin. So let's go ahead and go through four actionable strategies given these two techniques. So on the active or seeking side, the first one up we have is cold email. So what you do here is you're going to use some sort of technique or strategy via LinkedIn or paying for a, a lead service where you get contact information of your ideal customer. So you actively go do your research or use some sort of scraping software to find those emails and then send them a cold email. And that's all there is to it, to this cold email process. If you wanted to learn more about specifically how to get those emails, how to write those emails, and how to actually engage and respond to people, then go ahead and check out the links in the description to another YouTuber's channel, Alex Berman, who does a ton of cold email teardowns and actually can walk you step-by-step step how to find the emails and how to actually write your cold emails so you get a response. So as soon as you get that response, that counts as someone raising their hand, <laughs> waving their hand, they're waving high, <laughs> raising their hand, and that is where someone becomes a lead in that process. Now, over on the attract side, we're going to talk about the second largest search engine, and that is YouTube. So most of attraction marketing comes down to content marketing, which is creating something valuable that your ideal customer would actually want to engage with or find value in. Now, what's very important is there is this misconception with content marketing marketing and even social media marketing where it's supposed to be all about how great you are or your product or services and how awesome you, the results are you can get for your ideal customer. Well, that's really not the way to do it because when your ideal customer watches that type of content, all they hear is, I'm awesome, I'm awesome, give me money, I'm awesome, which is not something we want to do. So over here on with YouTube videos, what you want to do is create a piece of content that has really nothing to do with you as a business owner or influencer or entrepreneur and has everything to do with the problems and type of content that your ideal customer would engage with. So let's go through a concrete example. Our marketing agency offers a lot of paid Paid traffic management. So what we've done on this channel is we've created a lot of in-depth tutorials and guides around Google advertising and YouTube advertising. Nowhere in any of these videos do we talk about our paid services or our paid products. Instead, we focus on creating the best type of content we can in these particular videos and then allow YouTube to serve it to our ideal customers. Now, 99.9% .9 of the people who watch those tutorials, whether it's an in-depth tutorial or just talking about mistakes that they're making with their advertising, don't ever contact us. It's that 0.01% 
that contacts us. And that small percentage of people is what makes this entire strategy profitable. Now, of course, the huge downside is you're putting 40 plus hours into one video and then you're sitting back and waiting. Some of these videos took over six months to a year to actually start producing results. But something that's so powerful with these is that 0.01% will watch the video, you've built rapport, you've proven you and demonstrated you can be helpful, and they'll go fill out the contact form on your site. That's as simple as this process is, and it's as complex as this process has to be. These two videos alone are responsible for tens of thousands of dollars in agency revenue simply by using this simple process of creating something awesome and great, not self-promoting and allowing the customer to raise their hand and say, hey, maybe I think these people can be helpful. Of course, you do have to sit back and it is going to take a while. So back on the active side, we have advertising. And so this is where you can immediately go out and find your ideal customer. Now, the main advertising platforms you have to choose from are going to be Facebook ads, of course, Google ads, Google slash YouTube ads, and then we have Pinterest and Snapchat. I will link up a detailed tutorial for each one of those ad platforms in the description, but I highly recommend if you're new to advertising, you have hundreds of dollars a month to spend, not thousands, then start with Facebook ads. There's a in-depth tutorial and actually playlist from another YouTuber, Miles Beckler, who will walk you through everything you need to know with a $5 a day strategy or $10 a day strategy. It is the best way to get started with digital advertising. If you have thousands of dollars, then you can check out our tutorial on Google ads. Although I don't recommend people who are brand new to digital marketing starting there because it's very competitive. Although you'll see the highest RO, immediate ROI with Google ads, you just have to have a lot of money to get started. By a lot, I mean three to 5,000 a month in ad spend. If you're at a couple hundred, stick with something like Facebook, Pinterest, or even Snapchat. Links to details on how to use each one of those platforms in the description. Now, finally, we're going to talk about the number one search engine on the attract side, and it's technically gonna be Google again, because they own YouTube as well, and that's going to be Google search. So if the prospect of jumping on camera doesn't excite you, or you go, I don't wanna spend 40 hours of my time making some in-depth YouTube tutorial, and you want to be on the attract side of lead generation, then creating in-depth blog posts, two to 3,000 words, is going to be your best bet. Now, now, one of the advantages of doing it this way is you don't actually have to physically write it. So if you have the budget, you can hire a great writer to do those two to 3,000 word blog posts. It's important to note though, those five to 500 word blog posts that you may see advertised, they're not going to do anything. They're not going to rank. They're really a waste of time. That's like search engine optimization 1.0 at this point that may have worked 10 years ago. It definitely doesn't work now. So I'll link up in the description to two different videos that give an in-depth walkthrough of how to come up with your topics and then how to actually rank even if you're a brand new website because it is incredibly hard to rank on Google but when you choose your right topics and you follow the techniques of the videos linked up below you will find success with your attraction marketing in text form. So that does it for our four different strategies for the two different techniques. So we have cold emailing, we have advertising. On this side, we have YouTube content marketing, and then we have text or blog content marketing. Now, irrespective of which one of these ones you choose, it's important that you choose one to focus on because you really want to become the expert on one of them. Again, they all work. No one technique or strategy is inferior to the other. It's just based upon your business and the type of person you are as a business owner and marketer because you want to choose one that is in line with what you're good at. So now let's go ahead and go through that bonus of what is the best way to actually convert all of these people into leads who are open and ready to potentially do business with us. And this is by driving all of your traffic to something called a landing page. So instead of waiting for people to fill out the contact form on your site or driving traffic to your homepage, you're going to want to create a specific special page where when people come to it, the only thing they can do is give you their contact information. Now this is going to work for three of the four strategies. Obviously with cold email, you're already in the sales process. You don't need to send them to a landing page to collect their email again. You're already, you've already got the email, just continue the sales conversation there. 
But if you're running traffic or you're doing Google or YouTube, then you're going to want to send those people over to a specific page that offers something of value in exchange for their contact information. And so this is where you're being significantly more active in collecting that contact information. And there is one specific type of lead magnet or offer you can make on this page that works really, really well for lead generation. And that is some sort of audit, report, or case study. These types of PDFs do really, really really well when it comes to lead generation. So here's a quick example of what that could look like. Here is a PDF audit. So someone can enter their name and email, and then they can go through and audit their Google Analytics account. And of course, we would either use an ad to show this audit like we have with YouTube ads, or we could link it up in the description below our video on Google Analytics to help people take the next step. So either this works in either case, and we've done it in either case. So if you wanna learn more about specifically how to put together the landing page, how to choose what your lead magnet should be, go ahead and check out the link in the description to a full blown tutorial on how to put together this entire funnel. So that does it for the two different types of techniques. You have active and you have passive, and then you have two different strategies in there to choose. Again, it's very important that you just choose one to become the expert at. Make sure you check out all of those detailed tutorials in the description from our channel and other trusted channels. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe for more tutorials just like this one to help you with your digital marketing and lead generation. And until the next, keep building the business you love.